Okay, everybody, that was a hot lap around Spa, and the McLaren 720S GT3 managed a 217.781. Uh, the lap you got was a 217.892. Um, just a little bit off. I wound up making a slight setup change in between these uh, two laps, so my fastest lap and uh, this lap. Ultimately, um, this was uh, this lap. The car was incredibly skatey. Uh, and did not like it. I'll, I'll talk about what the change was, and uh, you can make it for yourself if you want, but uh, this is way more stable and really only suffering in the final chicane, which I think was mostly down to me. Um, super stable pretty much everywhere else, in my opinion. You just gotta watch getting on throttle, that kind of stuff, but I uh, definitely a low 17 capable uh, in my hands, at least, if I uh, put some more time into it. Um, and I'm sure someone else out there can go uh, a decent bit quicker in this car as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the setup. We started with the aggressive preset, um, increase the front toe, uh, decrease the rear toe just a little bit, increase the rear camber as well, try and get a little bit more um, grip out of the rear of the car. That's really, I think, what I was uh, ultimately struggling with, uh, some high speed understeer and rear grip. Um, I wound up running the ABS on one, uh, just got a lot better braking performance with it on that, and uh, TC on two. Um, honestly, with the way I was kind of having trouble putting the power down, I thought about going to TC, um, TC3, but uh, it cuts in, and I, I really hate the way higher traction control cuts in, and it almost unsettles the car even more, uh, unless you want to run a ton, and that just seems way, way slower to me. Um, front brake pad compounds a two and rear brake pad compound two as well onto the suspension stuff here um, a front anti-roll bar four rear anti-roll bar three uh, preload differential just knocked it down a little bit to 70 um, less was okay just uh, really a lot of uh, oversteer on corner entry into the high speed stuff so if you want to loosen the car up a little bit that's an easy way to do it um, does kind of suffer on drive out a little bit uh, whenever you lower the preload diff like that. Um, however, increasing it, I was getting more snap, um, both on turn in and on uh, corner exit. So I think it started on on 80, um, really anywhere between about 40 and 70 felt okay to me. 40 being way more oversteery uh, on the um, corner entry, so way uh, a very loose car on corner entry, and uh, not necessarily the greatest punch out of the corner. And basically, as you increase that, you kind of uh, neutralize the looseness of the car on corner entry and uh, give it a little bit better exit, at least up until about um, 80 or uh, oh, really 90 to 100 newton meters. Um, that's where it starts to kind of snap on me on corner entry. Uh, sometimes and um, also light up the rears on corner exit. So 70 is where I ran it anyways. Um, the wheel rates here increased uh, increased the bump stop range on the front actually a little bit. Um, kept it on the rear exactly. Uh, it's also softened the bump stop uh, rate on the front. Um, and this is the change I made between my two laps. Just one click of wheel rate, so a little bit stiffer on the rear uh, versus a little bit softer on the rear. Um, a little bit stiffer on the rear. Uh, I noticed I was uh, scrubbing less so with it on uh, 198. Um, I was scrubbing less speed through Eau Rouge, uh, dragging the car less, uh, car be able to carry more speed through Eau Rouge. Felt, feels super easy going through Eau Rouge. Um, no problems there or anything. But the last chicane and the middle sector, uh, it is pretty sketchy. Uh, sometimes putting putting the power down and just with the overall feel of the car um, you could probably play with the preload to uh, to make this wheel rate work but it just felt too stiff to me so I went down to 184 and um, really the car felt very nicely balanced uh, no real complaints for me on on any of that and if you do want to kind of increase the aggressiveness of the uh, rear of the car there with the softer spring you can uh, just increase that front or that rear anti-roll bar to four um, the balance between the anti-roll bars on this car it seemed like the front uh, 
kind of set the tone of the car and then the rear you wanted to keep it basically at the same kind of stiffness or uh, maybe just slightly stock softer obviously I, I don't think that they're um, they're the same front to rear even if it's on four and four but that was just a good way to balance it the way the car felt uh, kind of made sense to me like that so um, the only other thing is really move the brake bias back quite a bit uh, 55 8 is what I wound up running it on um, it just felt like I could not trail brake at all with it. Uh, I think it started way far, like 57.2 or something like that. So um, really uh, about 56.2, 55.8, somewhere in that range felt pretty good to me. Onto the dampers, uh, there's really not a whole lot I want to talk about on this other than the fast bump and rebound on this car. Uh, I felt like you had to make it very, very soft um, to be able to use the curbs around this track. Uh, especially like in the uh, middle sector and last sector where you kind of want to hop uh, some of those curbs or, or put a tire on a curb uh, through like the S's or uh, maybe like Pujon or something. If, if you uh, have the fast bump pretty aggressive, um, the car just kind of wants to kill you. So uh, keep an eye on that. And then onto the arrow, uh, I raised the front ride height to 58. Um, I went up to 62. Uh, it it makes it through a rouge just as well on 58 and 62. It's not really an issue with the front. It's more of the rear. Um, so lowering it down 58, I got that uh, high speed turn in back a little bit more front down force it felt like. And then on the rear, uh, anywhere between 78 and 80 uh, felt pretty good to me. Start going a little bit higher. 80 um, definitely felt a lot better through the high speed corners for sure um, just just initial turn and sometimes it, it could kind of get away from you want to swap ins but uh, 78 kind of felt uh, very very neutral and um, anything lower than that and I was having issues uh, through a rouge so you want to keep an eye on that and kind of uh, raise that up maybe if you are really struggling 